um, here we are. And uh, what I've done is I've mixed a an off-white color using uh, titanium white and a touch of permanent red. This is mixed together, so it's not. Um, it's just an off-white color, uh, just a very slight tint to it. And um, now then, I've loaded uh, my brush. Uh, this is a one-inch brush, and I've loaded the one-inch brush with this mixture of uh, titanium white and um, a dot of or this a point of a, a permanent red, off-white. Okay, and then we'll come up here. People have asked me uh, to do a clip about uh, painting clouds, and so the next segment here is on painting clouds. And so I'm going to um, uh, just come up here and just push the color, the paint in, just daub it, and I'm not loading any more more paint. Now there's all kinds of ways to paint clouds. Um, Bill Alexander had, um, oh, he used a fan brush. Um, I know that some other artists have used, um, oh, they've used the one inch, they've used, I've seen use the, um, even a um, bristle brush, a flat bristle brush. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just, um, I'm coming down, and you'll notice that um, as I uh, as I as I come down, I'm not reloading the paint, and it's mixing with the blue. Okay, so basically, I'm just staying away from that front edge up there, which we will deal with in a minute. But I'm just daubing it in, and the bottom of the cloud is kind of just disappearing into the sky, and that's fine. Okay. Now then, I'm going to wipe my brush because it's got a lot of blue on it from painting those clouds. And uh, I'm just wiping it on a paper towel here. I'm going to go back, reload, and you can have more than one layer of cloud. You just need to come in and establish the white again. Uh, reload your brush. And again, I'm just kind of I'm staying away from the edge, but just blending the bottom part of the cloud out. Now then, uh, I'm going to set that brush aside for a minute. And uh, I need to I need to clean. Oh, there goes that chair again. Uh, I need to clean the uh, the two and a half inch brush because I want I really need to use that. I'm using uh, Turpinoid Natural to clean my brushes, uh, mainly because it's a non toxic uh, brush cleaner, and I really have uh, really like it. For that reason, it does a wonderful job on cleaning the brushes. Um, it, the only thing is in the final cleanup, you have to be a little bit careful about what you do with the brushes. Um, the brushes have to be tightly wrapped with uh, absorbent paper, like paper towel, so they can air dry and retain their shape. Okay, so get this dried out a little bit. Okay, now then, uh, what I'm going to do is just take the very top corner of the, br of the brush and just swirl it around to soften some of the, I'm staying away from the, really from the leading edge of the, br of the cloud. I'm going to wipe that brush and uh, then I'm going to just take a couple of just very light strokes across the edge to pull that back into the cloud. Very light strokes. Just some, uh, you know, mostly air, maybe a couple of bristles. 
if the edge becomes too defined and you want to fluff it out a little bit you can do that actually that's a very nice effect again using the upper corner of, of the uh, brush Okay, that concludes the, um, the segment on uh, painting clouds, and uh, so I hope that uh, that that helps. Again, there's other ways to paint clouds. Uh, one can use uh, virtually any brush. Um, the only thing to remember is uh, the top edge. Creating the top edge is the most important. It's like Again, the next step we're going to look at is mountains. It's like doing mountains. The top edge is the all-important part of the painting, of that part of the painting. And uh, once you have that established, then um, it's a matter of blending and, and doing working with uh, the other parts of the cloud. You, I could come back and put dark into this to create even more dark contrast. There's so many things that you could do with clouds. Uh, that I could probably fill an entire video, uh, full length video on painting clouds, but this is just a clip. I'll see you next time. John Heinrichs here. Goodbye. <laughs>